Hey guys, we're here at the 21 convention with James Marshall. James, I loved your speech. It was awesome. Thank I, you very much. I got me. a lot out of it. Some awesome. eye-opening stuff. Um, can you give the viewers a brief overview of what you covered? Sure. So my talk was on multiple relationship dynamics. So I was looking at the, the five phases that a guy can go through or probably should go through if he wants to be really skillful with relationships, moving from an in inactive single lifestyle through to perhaps more polyamorous lifestyles and then moving on to monogamy and then starting the whole cycle again forever. Um, so I was teaching uh, you know, how to do this in a way that's authentic, honest, uh, doesn't require you to, to lie or be some kind of player, um, and to take the best things out of each of those phases in relationships. You know, what I loved about it was there's just so much growth that can happen by by doing what you prescribe to do, by actually you know, being honest, telling the woman where you're at without apologizing. And, uh, you know, I've, in, in my short-lived seduction career, I've uh, stumbled across a lot of these things, but the way you kind of put it together really solidified it for me. So Yeah, cool. because I think so many guys live in fear of being caught out about what they really want in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so then they stack all these layers of masks and lies and compromise um, when, and presuming that the girl wants that, when really if they just straight from the beginning said, look, here's what I can offer, here's what I want, um, and here's me, then she would have taken it or leave it. And out of that comes an awesome relationship or someone leaving, walking out the door, either way it's fine. And even if they walk out, they walk out on good terms. Yeah. yeah. Um, what made you, you know, what, I know you speak at this event many times, you fly all over the world to come to the event, what, why do you do that? Um, well, now, there's a mixture of reasons. One of the reasons is because I'm good friends with Anthony and Mike. Can I look at you now? And um, it's a great opportunity for me to come and hang out with people that I really respect in the industry. And the seduction industry is a mixed bag, as you, you well know. And there's a lot of people that are clowns out there in it. And there's very few people in this industry that I would want to associate with as friends. And this, is, this convention is one where I get to see a lot of them. Um, I think because of Anthony's integrity, because of the fact that he is really, um, th there's, a, there's, a, there's a progression that's happening through each of the events and I can see that what he's doing over time is it's gradually shifting and changing and becoming at the forefront of a men's movement. And I consider myself to be a mentor in a men's movement, not a PUA or you know, a pick up teacher primarily. So I want to be part of that. So we know the 21 convention is headed to Australia, Melbourne for the first time. What are you going to be uh, doing there? Well, interestingly enough, I now live in Europe, in Central Europe, in Budapest, because the girls are super hot and friendly and it's cheap and I get to live like a pimp. Um, but I'm going back to Australia for, in November for two reasons. The first one is to see my mum, and the second one is to get involved in the 21 convention, which will be in my home turf of Melbourne, Australia, and I'm really excited about that because I get to uh, help you know, collect some of the great speakers that I know are in Australia. Um, and also to go and speak to my home crowd again, which I'm really excited about. So, yeah, I'm hoping this one's going to be the biggest yet. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for coming out. It's been a pleasure.